Welcome to this tutorial. I will show you how you can prevent clipping of, of a weapon. So I'm standing that close in front of a wall. If I go to the scene view, you see clearly that is, it is in the wall, but in game view, it's not in the wall. And it's all done with a new scriptable render pipeline. You solve this problem back then with the old render pipeline by just saying, okay, I add a layer. I will call this uh, the FPS layer. You go to your favorite objects and set it to this layer. Then you created a second camera just for the first person view and say, okay, uh, just render everything that is on this FPS layer and nothing else. And here you go. And then you say, okay, background type buffer only, but you can't, you can't just can choose a skybox or a solid color, don't care. But you cannot say, just just render the thing and the rest should come from our game. So this is not possible anymore. It was possible, but now, and somebody reported this to Unity and say, okay, the clear flag is not there anymore. It's not working anymore. And Unity Unity just, just answered and say, render the overlay first to a render texture, then render the normal game scene, write a custom post process, and then have this post process effect alpha blend your custom overlay at the right point. And the comments were ridiculous. So this is absurd. This is an absolutely bad move by Unity. This is just a joke. Any luck on this? I tried this, doesn't work. Found an example, but it doesn't work and so on and so on. I thought, okay, maybe this is a time for a good tutorial out there to help these people. And the only thing that you have to do is create a render texture, as I say, FPS. And then you render the camera to this render texture. And there you go. You see it. Make sure to have the proper size, for example, full HD, if you want to go for full HD. How to bring it to the post-processing? It's easy. You just download uh, an asset from the asset store I just wrote, and then you have this option, texture overlay. And this is how this asset is called, post-processing texture overlay. It will create this folder here. It's not released right now, but it will be as soon as the video comes out. So, and then as soon as you get this, and you just put this texture here on this texture field. And then you go to game view and there we go. It looks better. As soon as you start the game, the thing is in the right position and no clipping whatsoever. So it doesn't clip in the wall and everything works. So it's that simple. It's not that hard. So it's working pretty well because we got this asset texture overlay, which really helps us out. The only thing that is left to do is the hierarchy. For example, I would like to set uh, this as a child to the camera. This is a UI camera or the, the second layer camera. And then I parent it to the main camera. Just set it to the same position, same rotation. And if you play the game now, the lighting on this um, weapon is correct. And as you can see here in the light, it's l highlighted as well. So it feels more like it is really in the, the scene. And if you have a look in the scene view, yes, it is in the scene. The only thing that it does not do is clipping, for example. And this is how you do a first person shooter properly. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.